Hello everybody, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop and today I'm going to make a heavy duty shop stool because somehow I broke this one. I'm going to make this project out of this one and three quarter inch thick southern yellow pine and a piece of three quarter inch plywood. So let's take a look at my measured drawing. Here's a front view and a side view of the stool. The top is going to be 13 inches by 17 inches. The legs will be 23 and a quarter inches long, so I'll end up with a 24 inch tall stool. I'm going to have to cut eight cross braces, and on the inside faces of the legs, I'm going to cut a slight taper, and here's my template for that. I'll make this drawing available for download on my website in case you'd like to make one of these yourself. So let's head over to the table saw and cut the four square legs out of this piece. I'm using the thickness of the board to set the fence so that the legs will be a perfect one and three quarter inches square. I'm going to cut the cross braces from this board and in order to avoid this knot, I'm going to cut the four shorter braces from this end and the four longer braces from this end. All right, I've laid out one front and one side and they're looking pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut two tapers at the bottom of each leg and I'm going to check all the ends of the legs to see if there's any bad spots I can cut off as a part of that process. To cut the taper on the adjacent side, I took the sticker off of this side and I'm sticking it on the face that I just cut. I've got all of the parts cut, sanded, and almost ready to assemble. Now there's several ways you can put a stool like this together. If I had planned ahead, I could have cut my rails a little bit longer and cut 16 mortises and 16 tenons, which sounds kind of time consuming and not very much fun to me. <laughs> I could also use pocket screws, but the pocket holes would show. I could use glue and dowels or dominoes if I had a domino machine. But what I've decided to do in order to try to make this Carmichael proof is to use glue and the Spax three and a half inch long lag screws. Uh, these have the hex head with the washer built in. And it says you don't have to pre-drill, but I am going to pre-drill some holes uh, so that these go in a little bit easier and to avoid splitting. So let's drill some holes and put the base of the stool together. To make the seat for the stool, I'm using this 13 by 17 inch piece of 3 quarter inch plywood and I went out to the hobby store and bought this 3 inch thick foam for padding and also some of this black denim material to cover it with. But before I cover it, I'm going to use my screen to screen print my logo in the center of the fabric so my logo will be on top of the stool. Now I learned how to do screen printing in seventh grade art and technology class with Mrs. Arthurs. 
and I've shared everything I know about screen printing in a previous video. So if you'd like to learn how to do screen printing on the cheap, check out that video. Well, this turned out to be a really comfortable shop stool. It's just the right height for my workbench, and the cross braces at the bottom are at a good height for me to rest my feet on, and the extra padding in the seat is nice too. Those are some of the things you want to think about if you're going to build a shop stool yourself. Don't forget, you can visit my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com where I'll have a full article on this project where you can see more photos, detailed instructions, and download the PDF of my measured drawing. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more fun project videos like this one. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch my older screen printing video where I show you how to print the logo on the seat. And please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.